Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the December monthly view in my catch-all planner. So this is the planner that catches all the stuff that doesn't go into a different planner that's focused, like, like a work planner or a wellness and fitness planner or... Um, maybe your family's schedule or meal planning. This catches all the stuff that doesn't specifically belong somewhere else. If you only have one planner, that's your catch-all planner. So the theme I'm going with, of course, has to be, well, we celebrate Christmas. I know there are people out there that don't, but for us, at least, um, we celebrate Christmas, so I definitely wanted to tie in Christmas. Um, we are getting here in the Pacific Northwest snow right now, which is really, really rare to get um, at all, but especially this relatively early. Um, in the Seattle area, we have a lot of onshore airflow that's warmed by the ocean, so it rarely gets cold enough to snow. So we're just super excited. We love snow. So I was like, okay, I absolutely want snowy Christmas stickers. So I started looking through all my sticker books and I found um, in the planning thing, Christmas houses and trees, uh, not all of the sets, but uh, this one here in particular has lots of snow. It is this one, and I absolutely adore it. The other thing I was looking for was a big scene because we've got one, two, three, four empty boxes right at the very beginning of the month. December doesn't have a lot going on for me, so I, I thought it would be really fun to create a scene at least across three of the boxes. So we're definitely going to go with these. But I want, I love the Planny Thing books, but it, they don't have quotes and um, other things. So we're definitely using this set. I wanted to look for stuff then that would go with this color scheme. So as always, I first decided what my focus would be. This style of kind of um, uh, cutesy, kawaii style of artwork in this color scheme. So the browns and the blues and the burgundies and I looked for stickers that could go with it. So in the Christmas Collections book from Amber Plans Her Day, this is this year's Christmas Collections, this set of stickers I feel like matches, this is the color scheme, right? So we've got the burgundy, kind of cherry burgundy color in some of the roofs and the blue, of course, and then the brown. Um, so this color scheme, though, the stickers that go with it are actually these baking ones, and the artwork does not really match so well. I mean, maybe this Christmas cookie or something, but that's okay. Um, I have boxes now. I have to-do lists, although I don't really use that stuff on my monthly view. Um, I use some of the boxes. And then there are some quotes. Um, I, like I said, this actually, though, this house right here, I feel like actually does go pretty well. So there's another sticker I could use. So we're going to mix in those. Um, so I have those quotes. And then the uh, Calva Plan Christmas Stickers Volume 2. So that's this year's. Uh, I don't know if any of these books are still available or not, but I love the color, this kind of gray blue sage almost color. Um, for quotes, so maybe there might be a quote in here that I want to use. So, okay, enough explanation about the color scheme. Let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I don't have a ton going on. No birthdays um, in my family and friends in this particular month. So, first thing I want to do, I think we're going to white out notes. So let's grab our white out. Whoops. Don't need that, hopefully. Always got to white out notes. I don't really oh and it looks like my correction tape got off track there there we go okay um so let I want to start I just I know I want to put this sticker there I don't really it's not wide enough to go all the way over to here so I think I'm just going to put it kind of as up close to the discs um and it's okay, there are some white, blue, light clouds that are probably going to come up and cover Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but I don't care because they're light and I'll be able to see through them. So I'm just going to come down close to the numbers. There's no school today here because people in this area do not know how to drive in the snow. So first flake and they cancel school, which is fine. No problem. Um, but there are kids outside my window sledding. So, <laughs> okay. Um, I think actually I want to put, since the scale on this sticker 
is so much bigger than these. I think I want to put it down in this corner because um, I want to include it, but I don't think I want it. There aren't really stickers that big in this book. Uh, there are more boxes in here that I could potentially use. I don't need to. Okay, these are a little bigger, but I like how this one is a full C, a little bit more full of oh, blah, blah, a little bit more of a full scene. <sighs> Spit it out, Jude. Um, so I think, let's see, is that what I want to do? I mean, I could build a scene, but I just, I like this one. I like, I like the way it's kind of facing the spread. So let's just go ahead and put this one on there. Down here in the corner. I could, I could scoot it over. Let's scoot it over, um, onto the 25th, just a little bit especially the clear parts. And then maybe I can put like a tree or something on there with the house from this book. Yeah, like a snowy tree up here behind it. Let's put this taller, skinnier, snowy tree on there. Grabbing my super pointy tweezers to get this sticker started. There we go. All right, let's see if we can sneak this tree kind of under the edge of this sticker. Perfect, except you know what? It looks crooked. Does it look crooked? The steps are straight. For some reason, the whole house though looks crooked. I wonder if I can peel this up. Yes, I forgot. Um, a lot of these stickers, they peel up so well. Let's put the house itself more vertical and then the steps will just be a little bit crooked. I think that's okay. Trick of perspective. There we go, that looks better. Okay. Um, let's get some, let's stop there and get some functional stuff going. So John is going on a, a, a couple night trip. He leaves on Monday the 5th and he comes back on the 7th. So I definitely want to, um, do my trick with a little piece of washi tape. So what I like to do, and I have pulled a few washi tapes, um, all simply gilded. So I picked the plaid color that's got some red and brown and blue. So I could definitely put this one across there. I pulled the Christmas light tape that's blue because I thought I could put Christmas lights maybe across the very, very top. Let's just go ahead and do that. And then I pulled these three different, they're all simply gilded. They're like the winter passport seam. I love this one, but I think the blue is too dark. Although it's got very, oops, very clearly a Christmas tree on there. Focus. See the Christmas tree? But I don't think that's the one. Um, these two, of these two, I feel like either one would work, but I feel like the little houses on this one, so this one's actually, um, like a skiing town. It's got the, the ski lifts up above it. I feel like the little houses on this one match the best. So, and the place he's going, if you're familiar with the Seattle area, is called Leavenworth. It's a little German village kind of a place. And so I'm really thinking maybe I want to go ahead and use this across the days of his trip. Let's just do it. Stop hemming and hawing. Just do it. All right. So like I said, he leaves on Monday. It's got a little bit of an uneven rip, but I don't care. Or I guess not. Okay. It's pretty straight. I thought it was uneven. Am I going to get lucky? I'm going to get lucky. I won't have to punch it. All right. And we'll take it all the way over to the eighth. Hi, Jasper. Are you going to help? Whoa. Skidding around, keep going. Go look out the window, watch the birdies play in the snow. There we go. So that run of washi tape tells me that is one continuous thing that goes across to the other side and is all those days long. Just a little mind game you can play with yourself. Jazzy, oh my gosh, dude. Dude, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> okay, let's put a box on there. Um, Let's pick a box that matches our color scheme. I'm kind of thinking maybe since there's a lot of blue there, brown or burgundy. Let's do brown. No, because I got a lot of brown there. I got a lot of blue there, so let's do burgundy. So I'm just going to pick this one. It's going to give me the space to write that that is his trip. And since it's on the middle of the washi that's repeating the pattern, I'm just gonna come down a little bit so that my six, oh my gosh, cat hair Jasper isn't covered. There we go. And of course it's crooked. 
always, always crooked. And that's why lots of times on my spreads, I'll put boxes crooked, like very crooked on purpose, because it's a whole lot easier to get them crooked on purpose than to get them straight. <laughs> All right, let's put moon on full moon on there before I forget. Uh, where? Okay, so new sticker organization. I got to find my moon stickers. I forget where I put them. Okay, I found them. I In this book, I have um, a lot of functional stuff, and I remembered putting all the stuff that I needed for my monthly views in one spot. So here we go. I have the final full moon sticker of 2022. I get these from Wilson Wild. I already have my 2023 ones, and I love it because it gives you the date and the name. So December 7th, Cold Moon. So we're going to put that on there. Um, I have also pulled some Oops washies from um, Girl Boss Anna. I'm a rep through the end of the year. And so these are the Oopses. You can see, you'll be able to see, but I pulled the colors that kind of match the spread. I did go ahead and pull green because there is a little bit of green, but I pulled like a blue, a burgundy, and a brown. And so let's go ahead and do, I think I want to do brown here. Um, and then we'll put the moon sticker over top of it. So they're oops is because um, they are on, here I'll show you. They are on, they're a scribble, but see how they have that white outline? They weren't um, actually supposed to have that white outline, I believe, but I mean, on a white spread, they work totally fine. So, and I think I might wanna go ahead and put a second one on there. There we go, that's cute. Why not? I don't have anything else to put in there. Okay. Next. John does work the 14th and the 15th in the gallery. So we probably should do a little bit more washi tape there. Since this one's mostly blue, um, let's grab, I could, hmm, yeah, we'll use a box. Let's go ahead and put a little of this because I feel like the plaid, flannel plaid kind of look. Um, I don't know. Is that a guy thing? Kind of, I guess, maybe. Let's put this one on here. I think I want the foil down. So again, I'm gonna run it across both days. Burgundy, blue, all the colors. Let's put brown right here. We'll just put a little brown, that same. So I'm still in this same Amber Planzer day. Let's just put brown right here and I can right in that he's at the gallery. Um, I have one bill due right here. Uh, so back into my book where I had my moon stickers, full moon stickers tucked away, I have these auto debit stickers and my house stickers. So let's grab, is there a debit and a house for my house payment? Cause it is automatic, but I mean, it's the roof over our heads, right? So I like to make sure it actually went through. So let's put that down here. Um, maybe with another couple. Yeah, let's go ahead and do, let's see, I think blue down here. So we'll just build a little space for it with a couple of these. I'm gonna keep it up a little bit just in case I decide I wanna put something across the bottom. There's no brown, I've already got blue, so let's use this burgundy one, it matches like exactly. And we'll stick a house with it too. These are from uh, Orange Umbrella, and these were freebies, but it doesn't say where, so apologies, I don't know, I don't know where that came from. But anyway, there we go, there's my mor mortgage debit. All right, um, I actually have that marked on the weekly, on my weekly view, so I don't know if I need to mark that. Let's go ahead and mark all the Seahawks games, um, and then, then we can um, just see how full it is and see if I wanna mark that there. Uh, so back to school, let's pull my football game stickers. I like the footballs for the weekly spreads because I have the boxes for the score. And I like these that say football game for the monthly. I don't know why. 
It's weird. I know. I don't know why. Okay. And since they are Seahawks games, I think the Buckeyes might have one more bowl game, but I don't know when it's going to be yet. So we're, for now, we're just going to mark the Seahawks games. So in December, they play on the 4th. So we're going to use green, A, because it matches, but B, because the Seahawks are blue and green. So let's see, 105. We'll just put them all up ish. Do I want to? Yeah, I want to. All right. So I'm going to speed it up while I go ahead and put, here's my schedule. I'm just going to go ahead and put two of these with a football game sticker on each of the dates that the Seahawks play. So functionally, functionally, that's everything I have going on at this point in time. Um, I think I do, since there's really nothing up here yet, I think we can go ahead and put one up here. Let's see. Um, I think I want a box. I could do a blue box, maybe over like red swishies. Let's do it. And then I can just write that in. So for those of you that don't know, PPU stands for Polish Pickup. And that is, it's, it's a small group. It's a group of small independent or indie of uh, shorthand indie nail polish makers. Um, and much like with our um, planner theme challenges, they all do a, a, um, an agreed upon theme to their nail polishes. So for uh, October, it was um, sidekicks and that could have been like side of ranch dressing or like a, a superhero sidekick or whatever. It's completely open to interpretation. Um, uh, uh, so that was the October. You shopped October and then they shipped in November. So September was actually Halloween. It was spooky vibes, so on and so forth. So um, this one is, uh, or actually by the time this video shows, it will already be there, but I've already made my shopping list. Um, it is maker's choice. So they can do whatever they want for that. So anyway, polish pickup. Um, okay. This incidentally is called Minty Fresh. It is from one of those independent um, makers. Uh, I don't have a bottle, but I will link what this is in the description box so you can find it. Okay, so that is it. Everything else is just decoration. I definitely think I need um, these Christmas lights across the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. I do have a link in the description box for Simply Gilded. If you use that link and sign up for the no spam newsletter, and it truly is no spam, you will get a coupon code for um, $5 off a purchase of $15 or more, and I'll get that same coupon code. So when you're doing a long run of washi tape, don't pull it super tight. Not as much on a something thick like this monthly divider, but on a, on a normal thickness page, um, the washi tape does stretch when you pull it. So if you pull it super tight, it's gonna stretch. And then when you unstick it from your desk, it relaxes back or it snaps back to its unstretched state um, and that's what causes your page to curl. So you definitely, you want to pull it tight enough to get it straight, but don't pull it super tight. Next order of business, we've got an empty space here. Stay down. And I want to cover up the whiteout. So let's see what we got here. I could put a quote over here. A very Merry Christmas to you. Let's see here. All right, I had to pause and clean up my desk a little bit because I was knocking stuff on the floor. So um, I have also pulled these three of the four colors from the Nutcracker overlay tape set from Girl Boss Anna. So I think I started to say earlier, well, first of all, let me tell you what I'm gonna do with them. So I wanna cover up this whiteout. So I'm thinking I'm gonna lay some of these under a quote, not blue, maybe we'll go with, brown. Um, and I was I, looking through the quotes that I have pulled out so far. I'm loving this. So we just started um, our Christmas advent calendars. We have a wine advent calendar, a cheese advent calendar. Those are both from Costco. And then my favorite keto chocolate, Chalk Zero. We have um, dark chocolate for hubby and milk chocolate for me. So we started our Christmas advent calendars and I just want to put this quote Christmas calories don't count. So I'm going to layer a few of these up while I'm talking to you and put that quote over top because it's a clear quote, black quote. So 
I am, like I said earlier, a, a rep for Girl Boss Anna through the end of the year. Um, so if you put J-U-D-I-1-0, Judy10, as your coupon code with Girl Boss Anna, you will get a discount of 10%. And then separately, if you comment Judy, J-U-D-I, on your order at the very end of the ordering process, you will get my free sampler, which is four of the original style green overlay tapes. Perfect. Just fits. Okay. Oh, love that. All right. Uh, now whiteout is covered. So I feel like I could do another quote maybe down here with something in between. So, and there are, I don't have to stick with the quotes just in this section. I could absolutely use, um, quotes from other places in the book. So let's see here. Oh, I have that Kell of a Plan quote that I wanted. All is calm, all is bright. I like that one. Maybe we could put that one here with some, something else here. So let's look for a little something to put here. Um, maybe one of these super big bright trees or this one that looks like a Christmas tree with a house. There are other um, styles in this planning thing, Christmas trees and houses book. Like <laughs> these are super cute. Um, that one might, they're, the, yeah, I mean the artwork style is similar, but they are different houses, you know? So I think I wanna try to stick with this set. Maybe this really, really tall Christmas tree looking tree with a house beside it just to kind of stick with the theme. Okay, first, let's see how tall this is, because I know that's the quote I want to put in there. And since it's a lighter quote, it's not black, I don't think I want to layer it over any overlay tapes. So that's going to come, if I squish it down as close to the house as I can, to there. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a ton of extra space. Let's go ahead and just put this on. I don't think I need to like stress too much about exactly evenly spacing things. There we go. All right, now let's build out a little scene here in between the two quotes. All right, and then a house and maybe a, a snowman or maybe I'll put the snowman up here. So I still want to put something up there. So yeah, because I don't think I have room for all three, even if I use a super skinny house. Um, I kind of like this house. I don't know why. I know they're all basically the same, to be honest. Yeah, I don't have room for a snowman too. So I love that that, ho that tree is so big compared to the house. Okay, that looks great. Let's put a snowman over here, maybe with a little, a little bush or... Should he have a tree too? Now the snowman, I could put, let's put the snowman on some blue, just so it looks like he's sitting on something, you know? So let's build a little bit of ground right here and I can go over toward the um, punches with this a little bit. So now, yeah, see it looks like he's sitting on the ground. And I definitely have room for something else here. Maybe he needs to have a buddy. Maybe I need to put them both there on there. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. That's cute. Put them on there together. Okay, cool. That's super cute. All right. Uh, just let's see here. Anything else? I don't think so. Other than I feel like I've got a lot of stuff up there and this is pretty empty. Now this is a calendar day, it's the 31st, but I, I need, I feel like I want more down here. So I'm toying with the idea of putting this on there as the ground. Um, and if I put, yeah, let's do it. I mean, it'll feel a little closed in, but I want it, I wanna do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this across the bottom. Since the foil is the most opaque part, I think I want to put the foil down 
And I'm just going to kind of, let's do an uneven rip and start it near New Year's. And you probably saw me earlier using my um, tweezers, just treating the end of the washi tape like a sticker and help to help me place it exactly where I want it. Well, unfortunately, it's going to cover up. Maybe I'll just stop it here because I don't want to cover up the Kwanzaa and Christmas, you know? So let's just put it, there we go, another uneven rip there. It doesn't need to come all the way across. Okay, and then I just, I mean, let's face it, I'm not, we're not having a party. I'm not going to schedule anything for New Year's Eve. There probably isn't going to be a note I need to write in there. So let's just put a little, another little cluster over here. Um, maybe something this size. There were some smaller ones. Here we go. Oh, look at, there are even some with snowmen. See that? Let's pick one of those for in here. This one's cute. I kind of like this little scene with the snowmen. Yeah, let's do this one. I don't have this tree on here anywhere with the Christmas bulbs, baubles on there. And it's short enough to fit above New Year's Eve. Although it's, I think I want a house with it. Is there a teeny, teeny, tiny house? Let's put a house on there with it. Cause it just, it's so pale. I don't feel like it quite accomplishes what I'm going for. So let's put this super skinny house there and just build out this little scene. Like there's the yard in front of the house. And I almost feel like I want the fence there too, especially since that's the house payment. <laughs> we'll put our picket fence on there. Why not? There. All right. That helps. I think that helps just a tiny little bit. That helps balance a little bit, you know, I think that's it. All right. Let's put it in my planner. Last month of the modern meow planner. There we go. There is my snowy Christmas December monthly spread in my catch all planner. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to um, decorate your monthly view. So many people, I didn't decorate my monthly view for the first few months that I was a planner. Um, and then I finally decided, you know what, if, if it doesn't run away from me, I can put a sticker on it. So, um, especially if you don't really find yourself using your monthly view to its full potential, if you decorate it and it's pretty and you love it and you want to look at it, you're going to flip to it and that will encourage you to use it. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, which is liking. Please think about subscribing. Drop me um, any kind of a note, a thumbs up, a, a, a smiley face, um, a few words, all of those interactions with my videos um, help me with the YouTube algorithm and help support my channel. Thank you.